Hello everybody who watching this video and those who are meeting here online uh, via Global Prayer Change. We pray for salvation, blessing and healing for all 8 billion plus people on the earth. So uh, first of all, please uh, turn on the button uh, as you watch this video to subscribe to our channel and uh, below is uh, the description of our video and also you could turn on the so just a playlist uh, and listen the prayers uh, sanctify your place 24 hour per seven mm. today we pray for peace and humility and let's go with the messiah second coming uh, words about this uh, This is why, until now, history has moved forward with saints at the center. Uh, these were people who took their stand in relationship with the will of heaven and not just the will of the human being. Their goal was to benefit not only a central people, but the entire world, and even beyond the boundary of the world. It is the task of saints to teach this way of life. With this duty at its core, religion can uh, connect uh, the will of heaven with the will of a human being. So the saints established the standard for bending the human way to the foundation of heavenly law. However, only teachings that uh, transcend the boundaries of the world can be called the teachings of the saints. Based on this way, human beings today have established the way of humility and morality. Okay, that's what's got for today. Let's go with the global prayer chain and uh, uh, invite Irina. Irina, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, dear brothers and sisters for coming. Um, and good evening to you all, let us pray. Good evening, our most precious heavenly parents and our true parents of heaven and earth and all humankind. We are really grateful that we've gathered again here today to listen to your word and to understand you a bit more and to dedicate these few minutes uh, to the acquiring of peace all over the world by the year 2027. Uh, Heavenly Parent, we know that uh, your will is absolute and it is unchanging and that it has to happen. So we know that since you are longing for peace, it has to come. It's only us, the people on earth, who have to work hard and to realize the importance of peace. And one of the ways that we have to learn in our dealings as we seek for peace is to be humble. Father, we know that all the people who have worked for you doing your will on earth have all been humble. All of them in their ways, they think before they say. And also mm -hmm. they think and say what is right at the right time because they have cultivated humility in their hearts. We know, Father, that humility can cure many things, both physically and spiritually. When you are humble, if someone is angry with you, you only have to say one single word and they will be uh, consoled. Father, we know that being humble does not mean that you are foolish or that you don't know, but it means that you know so much that you would rather say what you know after everybody else has said, after you have understood everyone else. Being humble also means you are kind. So Father, we pray that we can also continue to advocate for kindness in everything that we do. <clears throat> and also, Father, we want to really, especially our leaders, want to pray 
that they also acquire that characteristic of humility. <laughs> because Father, we know that when you are not humble, you are proud. And pride has killed a lot, a lot of providential uh, ways. It has killed a lot of people whom you chose. It is because of your pride that Abel was not able to console his brother Cain. It is because of pride that many saints and sages who failed in their mission could not go through. It is because of pride by those chosen people that those chosen people whom you put in place failed their missions. But Father, we know those who went through and succeeded were humble. It is said that you should not be blowing your own trumpet. Let somebody else say something good about you and then it will echo all over the world. However, when you blow your own trumpet in pride, people just look at you and laugh at you. Father, we want people to see what we have done in our own quiet way and they praise us for what we have done. Let us learn to be quiet achievers because quiet achievers, they are the ones who rule the world. Father, look at Gandhi, look at Jesus Christ, look at Buddha, look at all those big, big, big names we hear in the religious and cultural spheres, Father. They were all kind. They were all humble. They were all alert. So, Father, please help us to really, really enhance our characteristic of humility and let us know what to do, especially in this era when we are getting so many messages coming to tell us about peace and how we should do, uh, achieve peace. Many people, they missed it, Father. They hear the messages and they throw it aside and they miss the whole providence. Father, please let us be humble, meaning let us hear and accommodate everything that we hear and also learn how to see what is good and what is bad. That is the discernment that we are also praying for that usually goes with humility. Father, thank you so much for this evening. I want to thank you for all the brothers and sisters on this forum. I want to thank you for their families. The fact that they are here looking for peace, praying for peace, it means they are humble and they practice humility. So thank you so much, Father. I want to pray and report in my name, especially as a blessed central family. Adieu, adieu, amen, amen. Adieu, amen, Irina. Thank you so very much. Now let's invite this Elaza from India. Elaza, welcome. I, I think I'll just take one minute to pray. My son isn't well, so I've just come for a small prayer only. I'll not be taking any humility part today because I'll just keep it simple. Thank you, God, for this wonderful day. Keep us all healthy and happy and we'll let there be prosperity in everybody who's part of this forum and who's listening to us and let there be happiness all around. Please uh, uh, mend the people who are suffering with various uh, things and let them all be fine soon. And let there be peace at all homes who are part of this food. Thank you so much. Thank you, Salada. So good to hear from you. Yeah, pray for you. Stay happy all today. Now let's invite Tinku. You have usually good research about peace. Tinku, welcome. So welcome. So first of all, thank you for all Global Peace 2023 members and all of you. And uh, today I <laughs> just want science and aspirality topics. In a way, science and aspirality lead 
seek the same divine blessing to do god to people my children can be give the above of god for the scientific mission but it is grown into a spirituality and huge with science the con conversation led to a discussion on science and spirituality it came to the fold that silence is the connecting factor between science and spirituality the objective of both the scientific approach and its spiritual approach is the establishment of the truth the science solve problems through experimental means and as spiritual through experimental learning to establish the truth both the view points need to observe the process quickly without disturbance this non turbulent phenomenon arises from lifestyle intervention suggested by the brahma kumari applicable to all human being to achieve inner peace and tranquility peace comes from compassion love and lightness now i am reminded of a tamil poem and a story which brings forth the power of lightness and provide a code of conduct for the holding high and responsible positions it means that if those who are in high and responsible position go against rightnessness then it light rightnessness itself become a disclaimer whoever deviates from rightnessness be it an individual or a state they themselves are responsible for their actions this so the importance of rightnessness in our daily life i have discussed with you so far the college of a special people human development in image of god the transformation of religion into a spirituality and importance of rightnessness rightnessness include all the elements of human character i bound to share one divine hum that i hear the name of that divine hum is lightness evab religion well there is a goodness in the heart there is a beauty in character when there is a beauty in character there is a harmony in the house when there is a harmony on the house there is a order in the country when there is a order in the country there is a peace in the world towards global peace so religion city stems from civilization heritage man's life is not complete only by lightnessness he should have employment and the ability to earn we have to create employment for 260 million people who are below the poverty line we have to buy their tears economic prosperity coupled with a spiritual ascent which is the sum of human college to face problems human developments in the image of god and rightnessness will take idea to glorious heights we will see a happy india prosperous india peaceful india moving towards the world world peace i wish you success in your mission of realizing world peace through a spiritual power the world knowledge platform of global action aims to emerge a network of university government agency and private sector with a space for the participation of policy maker students academics and entrepreneurs it should focus on identifying global problem researching solutions in a multinational manner local collaboration and finding solution through an enterprise based approach over the long term to fill the world from conflicts every nation must think bigger than its people and larger than the nation i consider three point peace formula for elementary education child in india develop into a prosperous land it will become peaceful beautiful and secure he said in augmenting the international conflicts on universal harmony through reverence for all life here india can become a peaceful country if a value education is provided to children at elementary level all religion graduate into a spiritual movements and poverty is eradicated elaborating on his suggestion he said children up to 15 years which covers one third of the population should be provided value education by father mother and elementary teachers so good education system can generate enlightened citizens a stressing on elimination of poverty through economic prosperity 
there should be high employment potential as without that we cannot remove poverty. So peace in mind will lead to peace in family and the nation, he said, adding there is a connectivity between hurt collector nation and the world. So thank you so much. At the end of my speech, Aju Amin Amin. Yeah, Aju, Aju, Amin. Aju, thank you. Thank you very much, Tinku. Thank you very much, okay. Brother Tinku. Yeah, you know, I was thinking recently, almost all countries have the so-called Minister of Defense, and they have many military bands, and they teach people there, they, they how to say, how, they, they teach people how to artificially, how to kill other people. I think this is very stupid in new age, and we're supposed to teach people the same, the same amount of money could go, as you said, for education, to educate children, to live in peace. We don't need all of these weapons and teaching how to kill other people. Why this stupid idea education? Then we need education how people could live happily, how to build peace, and uh, how to how people, as uh, Elijah said, for prosperity, teach people how to make money and uh, how to make their own business, how to develop it. There is a concrete uh, education how people could uh, prosper. <laughs> And not just uh, mm -hmm. uh, teach people uh, uh, how to say um, artificial how to how to kill other people. This is a stupid idea. I don't know. It uh, it is from the uh, Stone Age. <laughs> even there was wasn't this education. As uh, Messiah said that uh, even uh, bad people like uh, mafioti they don't teach their people to uh, their children to kill. <laughs> they teach okay, please be good. <laughs> And you said uh, very good that uh, this research that the uh, nation is supposed to think about the world because we are one one organism, one <laughs> with eight billion cells, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> yeah, so good, uh, good, good. Yeah, let's uh, think about topic for tomorrow and uh, please join my prayer too. I have some uh, details here. Okay, please join my prayer. Uh, dear family parents, uh, we're so happy to meet you alive here. As um, uh, you inspire us in today's uh, quotes uh, that uh, saints move the world, uh, I pray very much for the um, uh, brothers and sisters who join his, Elijah and Kinku, for their families in India, family Asia, and uh, Irina and Uganda, and I'm in uh, Europe. Uh, we in a few countries and few continents here, and uh, we pray for peace and humility today. We know that uh, uh, this world in the beginning was struck by artificial, aggressive, uh, attacking uh, that uh, this evil uh, uh, spirit Satan attacked uh, your first children and they fall and uh, till that from that time uh, there was suffering big suffering the all human beings and uh, so you send send the send the prophets you send the saints and the, uh, for example uh, the Christians uh, was killed uh, many many years but uh, in 300 years they conquered the uh, Roman Empire with true love. So uh, this is the most important to have humility, not just because of humility, but because we want to understand you and we be uh, humility to have humility toward each other that we could not uh, have this artificial attacking mind to steal and uh, and uh, killing, but uh, to have a very concrete uh, um, uh, natural habit to love others and live for the sake of others. Uh, dear Heavenly Parent, uh, we want to uh, pray very much. Please uh, help all humankind, all billion plus people uh, as soon as possible to get rid of this uh, artificial, aggressive, attacking uh, um, uh, spirit that uh, is attacking all. And they, they uh, one percent of population steal 99 percent of the wealth and power, and they uh, use it uh, uh, to, to 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 kill other people uh, if they uh, feel that uh, that they think that. Uh, and um, other people uh, is somehow uh, not good for them. Uh, dear family parent, uh, now we are living in the Messiah's coming time. And the uh, Messiah also inspired us and they, they said that the uh, Messiah family that uh, uh, that uh, for to bring the victory as a uh, true parent as Messiah's coming, they don't there was a need of commandos uh, um, team or others uh, um, different uh, uh, military uh, people, but uh, they need very important the heart of prayer. 
So this is our uh, part of prayer. We pray for the humankind and we pray for all our brothers and sisters because all of them have um, your nature too. And uh, they voluntarily could get rid of uh, sin and that we will pray about that they could uh, inherit you through love, through love of God by uh, uh, Messiah's second coming blessing. Heavenly Parent, uh, we pray for this as soon as possible as our brother Tinku said uh, um, to have this spiritual uh, uh, change uh, that the uh, whole um, world, all billions plus people get in hands uh, with each other and uh, join for peace when all of them, they pledge, they will not attack anymore anyone or, and uh, we will get this victory that this could pass for all future generations to not attack any anyone any in any circumstances uh, other people but live in peace and cooperation and mutual development dear family parents uh, for this we pray very much please lead humankind to understand to get uh, one more time um, um, thinking about their life about uh, their uh, ancestors and uh, their uh, descendants to uh, lead this global disarmament by 2027 as it was recently but uh, uh, again it, it was uh, um, killed by uh, leaders who don't like uh, peace but like only armaments and because by by um, weapons it could be done peace it could be done for the weapons could came another bigger power of weapons and uh, there is endless conflict and strife Dear family parents, we pray for all our um, future generations, for live for them to live in peace. Therefore, we pray very much. Please lead us, all human beings, to understand each other and um, help each other to purify all this earth now, um, purify it, our mind uh, to be only peace, um, peace building. To uh, this is new way of life and to to purify um, the earth of. of uh, ecology to, that uh, we could pass all this clean, pure, nice uh, um, environment and uh, uh, relationship between humans to our children and grandchildren and all future generations for thousands of years ahead. And this is possible with Messiah's coming, uh, living now. Dear family parents, uh, I pray one more time for um, uh, this um, day, uh, 15th of January, 2023, uh, as a pure offering, please receive it. I pray one more time for brothers and sisters who are living here, uh, and uh, praying here, and uh, we want to meet uh, you every day online here at seven o'clock. And also, we pray almost uh, our global prayer chain. We pray almost uh, twenty-four hour because uh, um, every human being uh, could join there and seven o'clock, seven p.m. Uh, and their local time and pray for peace twenty twenty-seven. Uh, this is our. Uh, uh, greatest wish and please lead us to do it and uh, understand how to make it new ways please show us how to open new ways for peace as this is a uh, new uh, as well for christians uh, new ways uh, as they are um, establish their religions the same there is new um, past uh, new ways as we could open and teach and inspire all human beings to live in peace just peace because this is natural living for all human beings Heavenly parents, please receive this short report. I pray in my name as Nikolai Kerpala, Center Blast Family. Adieu, Amen, Amen, Amen. Thank you. Bye. I have to leave now. Yeah, yes, okay. Please, uh, thank you very much. Please think about the uh, um, uh, topic for tomorrow. What you propose? Uh, maybe maybe we will write in the WhatsApp group. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. We will propose, then you can choose. Yeah, actually, Tinku opened today a very good topic about uh, uh, spiritual, how you said, spiritual uh, revival or something like this. Maybe we could pr pray for this. Tinku, the spiritual you what? Spiritual revival. Spiritual, spiritual how weapon. You your, Tinku, how you said in your research? Uh, sorry. For spiritual, uh, spiritual. I have made what? a conversation about uh, and uh, MNC and uh, imply MNC imply working uh, how to manage a stress and uh, there are some tips 
we we'll next time i discuss them. yeah yeah but uh, you next said about the uh, well a new dispersed you said about spiritual uh, uh, spiritual revival or something like this yeah yeah okay so let's pray tomorrow for spiritual revival okay 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 sounds good <laughs> yeah okay. pray for you stay happy healthy so nice to meet you bye bye thank you yeah. bye mm. Yeah, let's see. If you have any ideas how to improve our meet meeting, how to invite other people, please write. Uh, I always 24 hours open. Bye-bye. <laughs>